Welcome back to CES 2020. This is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific. Uh, we're up in the booth and I am here with uh, Neville from Reviver. Uh, you have created a digital license plate. Um, is that correct? Is that, that is correct. Long and short of it. Um, this is sort of amazing. Uh, tell me a little bit about this product and, and tell me, is this legal? Yes, it's legal. Uh, we are legal in five states. Uh, we'll probably be in ten by the end of this year. Um, uh, we're currently selling the plates in uh, California and Arizona. Uh, and before the end of the year, it'll probably be also in Michigan, um, Georgia, and, uh, and Illinois. So tell me, what is a digital license plate and what are the advantages of one? Why would I want something like okay, this? Okay, so digital license plate enables you to be able to do registration over air. Uh, we use a ruggedized you know, ink display that allows you to be able to do your registration, uh, parking uh, through the plate, tolling. It's the ability to take care of uh, automotive needs uh, through through an app. Um, now, how, how does this work in a way that's secure as far as the state's concerned, as far as the DMV is concerned, as far as uh, law enforcement is concerned? You know, how can I not hack this? You know, so I rob a bank, they're like, okay, we know the plates of his car, and then I'm just like, beep, boop, beep, and suddenly I got different plates. What's preventing that? What's protecting this technology? Okay, we have a secure platform. Yeah. Uh, we basically have, you know, secure chips, end-to-end uh, -end encryption. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, Verizon for that. Uh, but also, uh, what we've looked at is, is that if you wanted to steal a plate uh, to flip it out, a screwdriver in, in, in 30, minute, 30 seconds allows you to do that. Right. With our plate, it's securely put on the vehicle, mm -hmm. and then if, if, it's, if it's tried to be removed, it'll, it'll say detached on the plate, ah. and it'll give you a message, an SMS or an email to let you know that something's happening with the plate. And if it is stolen, you can actually put stolen on the plate once you re report it. Right, you see a bunch of messages flashing through here. So not only are there different uh, you know, examples of license plates, but you're seeing things like it says stolen on it if the car right. is stolen. Right. Um, I was talking to your partner earlier. She mentioned Amber Alerts could be flashed Absolutely. on this thing. Um, what sort of partnerships did you have to develop with the states um, to, to make this work and to get this tech going? No, that's an excellent question. We decided to do it differently. Uh, we initially had a conversation with the DMV uh, to make sure that there was interest in the product. Um, and once we saw that there was interest, we met with uh, law enforcement because they would be enforcing anything that's on the roads. Right. But we looked at it differently from the uh, fact that we were looked at it as a partnership. We didn't want them to look at us as a vendor. We want to work in collaboration with you to, to help suss out the issues that you have and have a platform that you can utilize uh, for your benefit and the benefit of the users. Why would I want something like this? Why is this better for me, the consumer, than a traditional plate? Great question. The reason why is you think about your flip phone and think about your smartphone. Yeah. Uh, on your flip phone, all you did is talk on it. With a, with a smartphone, 20% is talking, but 80% is all the other things you can do with it. This plate takes uh, it, you into the 21st century when it comes to connectivity. Uh, it doesn't matter make, model, or your car, Anybody with uh, an R plate has, you know, your car is now smart. So you can do your registration. You can do specialty plates. You can uh, you can pay for your, um, you know, any kind of specialization that you want to do. And then you can also do uh, tolling and parking. And it, you think about it as a transactional engine. Like if you wanted to do a mobile car wash, you can do it through the platform or get gas the same way. Um, now I was uh, last year I was driving down the highway. There's a truck in front of me. It kicked up a rock hit my windshield, cracked the windshields. Yes. Um, this is, it feels pretty durable, but it's still basically a, a glass or some sort of glass-like yeah, plate. Yeah, we, we use Gorilla Glass on the plate. It's ruggedized. Uh, yeah. We've done, you know, regression testing for 10 years. So it's it's pretty robust. The beauty of the uh, the bi-stable display is that if, if for one, for whatever reason it's cracked, you can actually still read all the letters on the, on the plate. Oh, okay. So it's still visual. Uh, if, it's, if it's an LCD, anytime you crack it and oxygen is, uh, is introduced, it blackens it out, but this right. doesn't do that. Okay, so even if it breaks, you might lose some of the functionality, but you but still have a still working visible. plate. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Um, now, the other question I have, as these are adopted by the states, 
has law enforcement. I mean, look, I've been in situations where um, I've been shooting video, and I know in New York City that I can legally shoot video in the subways as long as I don't have lights and all sorts right. of stuff. But I've had people from the MTA come up to me and say, look, you're not allowed to do this. And right. I have to like show them their own website. Right. I can envision a situation where law enforcement might pull you over and be like, what is that? And right. you don't have plates on your car. Right. Um, what sort of communication and outreach and conversations are you having to make sure that everyone sort of understands this is a legitimate um, product and <laughs> it's right. not a problem? So when we when we work with the state, yeah. uh, we work with both the Department of Transportation, the DMV, and with law enforcement. Sure. So when uh, when it's legalized, that messaging is sent out to all law enforcement, and we do you know continued education when it comes mm -hmm. to that. We're also working with the uh, agencies like AMVA, the Automobile Administrators for the U.S. and Canada, who set the standards to actually standardize, you know, a digital plate as well. Okay. So we're involved in all aspects and are continually educating those in law enforcement and the public about uh, the plates as well. Now, let's say I want one of these. Yes. How does that work? Because because the plates are issued normally by the, the state, the DMV. I get right. my plates from my car and screw them on and I'm good to go. Right. Um, or they show up, they're already there from the dealership, whatever right. it might be. Something like this uh, in California where they're legal. Right. Let's say I want one. How, how do I make that happen? Go to www.revolvery.com. Uh, you go to our website. Uh, you put in your information. We have certain pieces of information that we request from you. Okay. We validate your uh, license plate uh, with the DMV to make sure the license plate and VIN match up. Sure. And then we're <laughs> able to provision the plate and, and, and get it uh, attached to your vehicle. Do you as a company... Uh, acting as a, I don't know, for lack of a better word, a middleman in that scenario, right. is there a liability risk for you? What if I'm lying to you? I mean, Well, we're able to validate okay. the information, and before we do anything, all of that validation is secure. Okay. We work directly with the DMV uh, as, you know, as a partner, right. to be, and, and we've gone through all of the specialization that you need to do in okay. order to be uh, a partner with the state. Uh, so we have that in place already, and then uh, we're able to validate your information and then put a legal plate on your car that's fully compliant what were some of the hurdles bringing this to market and working with the state whatever it might be I mean it seems this is such a different product such an innovative product right. and look states are not generally known for being the quickest moving most nimble moving when it comes right. to new ideas what were the challenges that you faced as you developed this introducing it into the world First of all, I mean, they thought it was a crazy idea, you know, because license plates <laughs> I wonder why. have been the same for over 150 <laughs> right. years. But I think what it was is that they realized they don't necessarily have to do everything in order to be successful. Right. And we can help, uh, you know, cut down lines, uh, you know, have a more streamlined process and give their customers a better experience. So, like I said, we wanted to work with them as a partner right. uh, instead of a vendor. And I think that's what made all the differences uh, is, is working with them in partnership as opposed to trying to shove something down their throat. Where'd this idea even come from? I mean, uh, when who looks at their license plate and thinks, there's got to be something better? Because I look at a license plate and I think, Okay, it's a license plate. Well, this is the old. A good friend of mine uh, had had been to the DMV and talked about the experience. It was such a negative one for him. Of course, uh, you know it's the DMV. You, right, right, right. <laughs> my background's in marketing, and uh, you know I'd had a marketing company before. And my idea was, you know, is there a way to actually market this? So it, what I saw was an opportunity to solve a problem, a real problem, right. and actually uh, add a solution that made sense. And then once we were realized that there was support for it, then we actually moved forward with it. So it was an idea that. That became reality. Wow. Um, how long did it take to develop it? Uh, the company started in 09. So, oh, yeah, wow. So, yeah, so it took a while. How much yeah. of that was convincing the states to adopt it? Probably five years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all surprised by that. Um, it's it's a really cool idea, and it's a really cool tech. It's a bit of future tech that, you know, a lot of the stuff that we see um, at CES is uh, iterations on ideas. Right. It's moving things forward, and that's certainly cool. This is something that simply I've never seen before. Right. And I guess there are people in California who are like, well, I got one already. But right. um, how long has this been on the road? We've had these on the road, and we started testing them about five years ago. Oh, okay. And then, um, and we started. So I'm like with, really behind the curve. Well, or I'm just not hanging out in California. We, you know, listen, we were we were <laughs> testing and doing all that stuff. Right. But over the last year is when, in earnest, we started to really ramp up and get them on the road. So, like I said, in California, we have about 2,500 plates on the road. Okay. We have a couple hundred in Arizona, and we'll be rolling out in other states uh, this year. How much does something like this cost? If I want to get one of these for my car, 
sure. assuming it's legal. All right. So um, if you so we have financing, so okay. we can finance the plates. So thirteen dollars a month for the the plate as far as the standard plate, and then uh, for the one with telematics, it's eighteen bucks a month. And if you were to buy it outright, it's three forty nine, and then four ninety nine. And if you if you buy it, do you have cons like? Does access ever like? Is there ever a point where you're like, eh, we're shutting off your license plates? I mean, barring any legal thing no, where we no. said, yeah. I mean, it's it's connected. It's right. you know, like like anything else. You think about you, you purchase your cell phone and you, you don't buy it outright. You, right. you you do it on a, a on a plan, and that's the same thing. Right. So, but but my metal my metal license plate will not go away under general conditions. This won't either. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and so where can people go to learn more about this and to find it? Yeah, go to www.reviver.com and it's spelled the same way forward as it is backwards. <laughs> it is. Um, so last question, am I going to go into a uh, like a roadside bar one day and find a whole wall of these things plastered up the way you can with like the old license plates like bolted up to the wall? I and hope stuff? so. That means that we were successful. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Digital license plate uh, from Reviver. It's it's available in certain states now. Check check your state DMV, I guess, to see if it's legal. Um, or you can go to Reviver.com. This is Brian Stillman at CES 2020 for Be Terrific. Stick around. We'll have more coverage coming your way, bringing you into the future here at CES.